Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of N2H4 liquid, which will break down or produce NH3, ammonia, plus nitrogen gas, which is N2. I already wrote out our little balancing chart that is a very useful tool, as well as the elements that I see that are on both the left and the right side. So all we have to do is just say how many we have of each element, and then we'll get to balancing. Let's start with the left side. For the nitrogen, I see that I have two here, right? So that means that I have two nitrogens. And for the hydrogen, there's a four next door. So that means that I have four hydrogens. Coming over to the product side, for the nitrogen, just be careful guys, I see that I have a, an N here and an N over here. So I have to add those two together. There's literally a plus sign here. So for this nitrogen, there was one. I didn't see any subscript. So one plus plus, for this nitrogen, there's a two next door. So I have to add a two. One plus two is a total of three total nitrogens on my product side. And then for the hydrogen, I see that I have a three here. So I have a three. Okay. Now let's see. I can't really balance this nicely, right? Because two times a whole number is not really going to get me three. And the same thing goes for the hydrogen. 3 times a whole number will not get me 4. But what I can do is I maybe can work with the hydrogens to get the 4 and the 3 to be the next common number that they have between them, right? So I can basically multiply them by each other. When they don't have a common number to get from one to another, all you got to do is just multiply by the other number. So 4 times 3 would be 12, and 3 times 4 would be 12. And the numbers that you're multiplying, right, the three and the four, are the coefficients that go in front of the elements that you're trying to solve for, right? In this case, the three goes here because that's where the hydrogen is. And then for this case, the four goes here because the hydrogen is here. Now, when we add our coefficients, we just like to double check to just make sure that we're on the right track. And remember, when you're adding a coefficient, you have to play fair. It will get distributed to both elements of the compound if there's multiple elements. So I'm going to change my nitrogen and my hydrogen value. Now my new nitrogen value, I had 2, but now I have 3, so I multiply them. 2 times 3, I now have a total of 6 nitrogens. And then let's do it for the hydrogens. 3 times four is 12. So we did a good thing there. Let's now just see what we have for the new product side. This four will get distributed, right? So now how many total nitrogens? Well, there's four nitrogens here plus two nitrogens here, two ends. Four plus two is six. Oh, okay. So that's gonna be six. And then four times three hydrogens is 12. So look at that, guys. By balancing one of the elements, we actually balance the other one. And that's the beauty of balancing equations. Usually you could do like two for one, right? So the full balanced equation would be 3N2H4 will produce 4NH3s plus 1N2. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. You guys rock. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'm always rooting for you guys. And as always, I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.